The Game Awards just happened, and we had a ton of world premieres for amazing games that we'll get to play in the near future. From open beta testing to surprises like Back for Blood, we have a fun-filled year ahead of us. I'm Jeff from Game Stinger, and here are our top 5 game announcements from the Game Awards. Also, remember to like and subscribe. Number 5. Crimson Desert The open-world MMORPG is coming out for PC and consoles in winter of 2021. Crimson Desert is Pearl's Abyss's sequel, sort of, to their long-running Black Desert Online, and uses the same engine. However, Crimson Desert's enormous living world is completely new and looks breathtaking. As players progress through the game, they will make choices that have meaningful effects on how the story and events unfold. In the 5 minute trailer we saw intense and gritty combat, and even dungeons, puzzles, siege wars, and oh yeah, dragons. Keep an eye out on the development of this title. Number 4. Hood, Outlaws, and Legends While this wasn't an announcement trailer, this is exciting nonetheless. Rival gangs must compete in heists to hit the wealthy where it hurts in their pockets. Two teams of four players compete to execute the perfect heist. The game takes place in a medieval environment patrolled by deadly AI guards. Use your unique skills and mystical abilities in each character to move in stealthily and steal the treasures or force your way in through loud and brutal combat. You can pre-purchase Hood, Outlaws, and Legends right now for only 30 bucks. Number 3. Evil Dead This is my second overall anticipated game myself, and to see Ash get his own game that he deserves just gave me chills. I can't wait to get in game and start chainsawing demons and blasting fools with my boomstick. The game will also feature both co-op and PvP gameplay as well. According to the developer of Saber Interactive, Players will either seal the breach between worlds, or others will take control of the powerful Kandarian demon to hunt Ash and his friends while possessing deadites. In the words of Bruce Campbell himself, I'm excited to be strapping on the chainsaw one more time. Boss Team and Saber Interactive are planning a huge immersive dealio, and I knew I had to come back. You'll be able to step into my shoes and kick some deadite ass. Oh, I'm so ready. Number 2. Arc 2. This is one of the big surprises of the show, we thought. Arc 2 kind of came out of nowhere, especially with their trailer starring Vin Diesel. At first, it appeared to just be a tribal dinosaur hunting kind of game, but the twist came at the end. Cue the title logo of Arc 2. Arc Survival Evolved was first released back in 2017 by Studio Wildcard. In the action-adventure game, players find themselves stranded on a desert-filled island. Over the last three years, servers and players have grown by the bunches, and it didn't show signs of stopping. Little did we know, Arc 2 was happening behind the scenes. I know a lot of fans are excited about this series, and while I almost put it as number one, I was actually far more excited for this other title. Number 1. Back for Blood this is the spiritual successor to the Left 4 Dead franchise, and it showed up during the Game Awards with a brand new trailer. The alpha begins this month on the 17th, and I can't wait to get into some more gameplay. Being a huge fan of the Left 4 Dead series, I noticed this title almost immediately in our live stream, and I was almost jumping up in joy. This looks bigger, better, and full of more zombie killing goodness. With the alpha so soon, and seeing such a long gameplay teaser, I'm pretty confident we'll get to see this game in the summer. So what do you think? What trailer were you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to stay up to date with gaming news and updates at GameStinger, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for great videos, news, and gameplay.